Hello everyone, T Man978. Right now I'm about to do the T Man 978's how to transform Robot Paradise, Acoustic Wave, and Fib Rear from their mode that they came in to their alternate mode and back. And in this guy's case, how to transform him fresh out of packaging and how to apply his robot or G1 toy accurate details to his body just in case people don't know how to do that. This sticker here, the company Toy Hacks has been existing for years and we all talk about these. And you, I know you had to hear the name Repro Labels for years, but people amazingly don't know. So Toy Hacks with an X instead of a CK.com, they have all types of labels and I'm giving them free advertisement right now because everybody seems to be confused. But outside of that, if you don't even want to go with them, a quick Google search on how can I get Transformers Decepticon logos or Autobot logos. It's, it's, it's simple. Google, Google is a friend. But <laughs> let's begin. If your figure is like mine and came on Transform correctly, you shouldn't be wibbly wobbly right there. First thing we can do right here is this was detached on mine. You have this little clip right here I wanted to make sure you can see how that's shaped we need to basically guide it into this hole right here guide it there and just force it shut like that that's what I do get it right here and if you can't just do it with your fingers because it is hard I just use my hand my, my palm of my hand and force it in like that now we need to get this backpack out of the way. We can grab this, lift this up. And from here, I'm going to bring this down like that. That should be like this with this panel forward. Leave that like that for now. Gonna move his arms out the way so we can get some room there. These flaps on the side, we can lift that out the way but bring this out and down and here's what's making this wibble and wobble there's a clip in between his legs locking his waist into place but there's also two doors right here two metal doors they need to come down and groove right there onto this metal and that stops it from moving right there and if you don't want this to be his butt because he shouldn't have controls on both sides we need to bend this down but not just straight out it needs to bend down further so we can clear this so I'm gonna rotate that and go ahead and bring this like this and plug it now we can bring these down Rotate this and with this like this we can shove that into the back, shut that, and let's look at him. He should be good to go for his robot mode right there. The only thing you need to do now is on peg this right here, which is easier said than done. Take this guy and plug it onto the shoulder if you want you can pull that out I personally don't like that because that's not part of his look and this gun right here we need to bring this forward so that we can actually grab this which kind of pushes that out just like the G just like the masterpiece version of Soundwave then you have two nubs you can either Grab that with your fingernails or put something in there and shove that forward more. But basically, you can grab it like that. And of course, it can fit in his hand. Like that. You wrap the fingers around. Blah, blah, blah. You're good to go there. Now we're going to make him a cassette player. Bring him back. Then I'm going to show you how to put the pieces on 
to make him the G1 toy look, and then I'll do February and all all the things that make him up. But for starters, we're going to detach this, and oh yeah, that's another thing. Once you have that tag on, you can lift that up. But yeah, if you need to see the full review with my opinions, where I show every single thing about him besides the transformation stuff, I have a full review for this guy, which will be linked in the description and at the end of this video. But close that up into a shape that makes it look like a battery open the fingers take that out push this back in like that shut that actually we can't we can't just kind of we have to push that like that and now that's a battery put that piece to the side the hand basically needs to be all the fingers shut with the thumb down here we are going to open this panel up reverse the palm like this bring it in like that and shut it same deal over here open this up reverse the palm do this and this little tab goes into that groove right here all right now I'm gonna do the reverse of what I showed earlier where I'm gonna push down on here to get that tab dislodged like that and now I am going to open this up bring this up out of here and we're going to bring this up like that and kind of leave it like that for now we can go ahead at this point and Bring the head down into his back like this, but let's just leave it like that for now. Before we forget anything, this waist needs to be rotated. This can come out like this, bent, bend it more than the, not, don't keep it straight up, bend it down so we can reverse this. We can push these side panels up like that. We can take these metal clips, right, or metal doors, bring that up. They swing up flat. This has been very difficult for me to see in other people's videos, but it's a flat piece right here with a hinge right there. We're gonna lift that up like this. That makes his lit waist loose. But we need the waist to be all the way loose. There is a little tab right here that we need to pull down. And this unlocks his waist completely. Lift this up. Out of the way like that, basically. Bring the legs down. And we can rotate the legs around this direction. Now, we can push we need to have these down right here first bring these two down and now we can push this up once we get that pushed up we can go ahead and lock this tab back into place right there and we can just leave this hanging about actually before we leave that hanging about let's go ahead and open this up and open this door up but make sure that's straight open this up and open this up leave it like that for now back here we can go ahead and bring this down and go ahead and yeah we can shut the no no before we shut that we can take the batteries put them in here as you do with batteries and now we can rock this hinge back this way and this little nub goes into the little screw hole right there while this step goes into there get this in there first 
that's what seems to work for me. Same deal over here. Now we're good to go right there. Now the legs. For the legs, we are going to open this knee cap up all the way down. Once we have it all the way down, you should have enough clearance to open this up. And now we need to bring this out like that. So swing that out, bring that up just for decorations. And now we can shut this like this. So this knee that was up needs to be bent down like this. Gonna do the same thing over here. Bring it all the way down. Open that up. Open this up. Go ahead and what is going on? Shut it. Shut this. Bring that up like that. And what else can we do? Can unclip this. Unclip this. Rotate the legs. Or actually, don't rotate the leg all the way up yet. Swing it this way out to the side so the feet will be out there. Swing this this way. Now down here on the legs, we can lift this up and out like that. And then out like this. This panel right here needs to come out. I'm gonna do that over here. Lift this up off of here. Out and then out again. This panel right here needs to come out. Now these panels may shut themselves, so don't worry about that. And the feet. The feet has this hinge right here. We need to separate that right here. Lift that up. Make sure that you only bend this hinge right here. Bend that up. Rotate that up like this. And we can go ahead and bring this down. Peg this onto here. Rotate this there. Get dislodge that. Rotate this. Lift that up. We can go ahead and shut this and bring that up to here. Now we can start. We can bend the knee like this. Bend the knee like that. Make sure that this is down now because we're gonna need to rotate this up. Kinda have this bent like this because it needs to go up under here like that. Now, we can, I skipped a step. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to do this without cuts. This panel right here needs to come up on both shoulders. Or you won't be able to do the step that I'm trying to show you now. Bring that up. Clip that to there. Clip this back here. The foot actually goes into a hole. And the arm right there. Once we do that, we can tab this shoulder piece into the back of the foot, keeping that in place. Let's try that again. Have this bent slightly. Bring this up and make sure that this is behind here. But it like needs to go between this piece right here. So make sure the leg is twisted correctly. Now it's up over top of that, so we can peg this in front of there and peg the foot into the arm and peg this into place right there. Now this panel right here needs to come down. I did not bring a spudger with me and I'm on location. 
as you can tell this is my new, my usual review area bring that down and we need to get this separated which is easier said than done and that's why we need the spudger this fake knob detail needs to fit inside of there peg that into place let's do that over here get this separated which would be easier if I had a spudger that fake knob detail needs to go into here and now we need to make sure that these panels that are open earlier that I said always shut are still open and we can go ahead and plug this peg into a groove right there bring that there and have this kind of right there same deal over here shut this onto here why is it fighting me what is different No, it's not pushed back. That's the problem. So now I have that up. This is in place. And we can try to cover things. I'm lifting the crotch panels up so I can get these metal pins up. But we can close things up even more by doing that. And we can force these front panels forward or, or shut things like that. But basically everything should be shut tight and it is a cassette player I feel like something's not completely right on this side but it's the shape everything's in its place if you don't do something right it will not let you close it all the way so there's that other things while we're here, I already have the cassette in there. You can hit that, pull him out. There are two little nubs that hold the cassette into place. If you have two of these cassettes, you can place one in here. There's a little nub right here that kind of makes you want to push the, the tape slightly to this side right here. And you can still shut that. You can put another cassette in there and the other tape will stay there but there's a little lever here that pushes it forward this right here once you push that forward it is difficult to push this metal lever back so what i do is just push it with my thumb back into place and it shuts the lever reverse transformation so basically we need to start back here detach this we may as well go ahead and pull, push this panel back now, pull that down, put this panel back now, and we need to separate this panel, bring this forward and cover this button right there or, or lever or dial, shut that into place and lift this up right here, put that into place. Same deal over here. Bring this. It's on a double hinge. Bring it forward and then shut it like this. Bring that up and you should be good to go right there. Now we need to detach these shoulder pads off of the feet. There you go, that. Which can, you can now separate the whole legs right here. Bring that out and then down and then down again. And here's one problem that my figure has that I haven't seen anybody else talk about. These leg panels, which are optional because you can take them off for the, rope, the G1 toy detail. They tend to get stuck there. So you need to put that back on if that happens to you. And it always happens with 
both sides for me. So detach this from the shoulder, detach this from there. Same thing happened over here. So I'm gonna take that and put that down here. So that's a strong tab. So that's good, I guess. But now we can take this foot, bring it like this, and then tab it into there. Over here, we can pull this off of here, shut this and that, and bring it there. And we can rotate the leg forward and shut this clamp that keeps the leg together. Bring the foot down like this, rotate it, and then put the tab right there. I'm rotating the thigh, detaching this, shutting this and this into that orientation. And back here, I'm clamping this clamp down. Now, I'm lifting this out all the way like this so that we can have access to this door. Open that door, shut that inside, shut this. If you forget to do that, there's no real problem. You just have some extra detail that's not really meant to be there. We can shut this now underneath of the kneecap. So bring this out all the way. Open this up, shut that, shut that, and bring this up underneath of the kneecap. All right. Now, up here, this shoulder door right here shut itself. Shut that, shut that. We can go ahead and detach the shoulders from here. Detach the arm and shoulder there. Um, I'm going to move these out to the side to get them out of the way. So I can open this up, grab the batteries out. Might as well just go ahead and grab his head at this point and bring that up. Make sure that this panel is flush. Lift this up. And we're going to go ahead and flip this back and flip this up that way. But leave it like this for now until we're done with this waist situation. Move this forward. Shut this on both sides. Lift it up right here. So you're covering the back of this metal plate and we can bend this forward and rotate that but leave it like this for now and we need to open this up again lift that up but leave these down and we can go ahead at this point and stretch his body up so you can see that hollowness now we can move these panels up and rotate the legs around here so that this is now lined up with this part right here. We can bring this down till it clamps and then clamp this under there. Meanwhile, back here, so that the chest will not be wobbling back and forth. We need to bring these metal doors back down. We can push the butt plate back up, bring these down on both sides. Make sure that this is down and go ahead and rotate the waist. Back here, we can go ahead and shut this back under the back and shut this. Now I took the batteries out. You could put the batteries back in if you don't want them, but you're gonna want them. The shoulders. Bring them forward. Take this, take this little nub right here. Line it up like this. And then shove it in. Line it up like that. Shove it in. Sometimes I use my palm and my hand to do that because it's difficult. 
This is probably my third or fourth time transforming this guy and I'm starting to notice that these clamps, they're down but they're seeming a little bit loose now while I'm messing with it. But open this up, right here, bring the hand out, shut it making sure that this goes over the little tab. Same deal over here. Open that up. Shut it. Shut it. Bring the arms down. Bring this little piece up. Take the one with the, the hole in the bottom of it. Plug that down. Adjust that how you see fit. Maybe pull this out if you like it. Take the gun, pull it, lift this up, which usually brings out this a little bit more, but there are two little grippy points on the gun that you can grip, so we can pull that out, and you can put it in his hand as you see fit. All right, now replacing his parts to give him a more G1 toy look. Here's where I may have trouble because I definitely should have brought a spudger. But we're going to detach this from the side of his leg, which seems to be on there tighter than normal. Just get that off of there so that we can dislodge the foot. And now we can remove this panel right here and you see how that's right there? When you grab this thing right here, you need to make sure that that's right there because you can actually transform him with most of these pieces on. I'm gonna go ahead right now and bring this forward because we need to remove this panel right here and replace it with this guy. I'm gonna have the red dot in the middle or towards, yeah, towards the inside of the legs. I am, that's what they have on the box. So that's what I'm gonna go with. But basically just slide it over. You know what? One important thing to note, why I couldn't get that on there, is there is a little dimple in the inside of there that goes on the bottom. I'm going to have the red on the out inside, but make sure that the dimple is on the bottom. And while we're still here, we can go ahead and re-peg re the foot and shut this back up so that won't be dangling around. But basically, this kneecap needs to come off. And we need to grab the red kneecap. It looks like this. We're going to have the arrow pointing down. Just cover that and lift this back into place. That's pr probably pretty much all you need to see, but some people need to see everything step by step. Sorry for the people that don't need to see this. You can. There is a fast forwarding or skipping feature on YouTube, thankfully. You can set that and set that. Bring this forward. Bring this hard to attach this out of here. Grab this guy. Make sure that the little dimple is at the bottom. Or else it won't will not go on. You can go ahead and bend this knee. And I think because of this swap out feature, that's probably why these knees are, are designed the way they're designed. I could have done without it personally. But now we're done on the lower part of the body. This right here, we need to bring this forward. And now we can basically Get your finger in there or, or some other thing like a spudger and pull that off. 
you're left with this. Now we need to get the shoulder panel that's shaped like this. There is a peg on the back of it. Peg that into place. And this can still lift up for transformation. Same deal over here. Get this up and start slide that off at the side. Now this is painted, so you will have to worry about scuffers. One of my shoulder panels already had scuffers on there. Now we got them going on. The last thing, well, there's two more things. We have these panels right here. Pull that down and the silver should be in the front so you know that this is this side basically this peg goes in there and this peg goes in there so peg that and peg that same deal over here peg that and peg that sorry I did that fast for people that couldn't follow that stuff now the face the face is the most difficult thing to do you definitely should get a spudger to start working on on this right here because oh boy let's see if I can do it I can get my fingernail up in there let's see if I can do that over here get my fingernail in there and I'm gonna attempt to slide it forward yeah it's already going. So basically this whole thing shoots off. Now that it's gone, I can push that up like that to get the face off. Now we take the secondary face, slide that on in its place. Here is Soundwave and his toy date deco right here. And this actually looks good. It's like when you see it, it's like, damn, should I just should I display them like this? Because <laughs> this looks good and it's I mean, it doesn't change too much from the back besides the legs. But this is so nostalgic for how you remember Soundwave when you're younger. I mean it's it's not too far off from that, to be honest. But it's cool that they were able to give us this detail with the actual colored tempos instead of stickers but this isn't a review there's that one feature i did not show i did show this in the full review but since this is a how-to i might as well do this here he has a replace a replacement chest plate right there how we get that going is to push up in the corner on both sides and now we can like lift straight up this way because it's two peg holes and how you know this how, how do you know how this goes in there that little arrow on the original toy is on the bottom we're going to shove that down into here and now we're gonna push push this forward so I'm gonna squeeze and now it's in this place so now you can have a little tech details and whatnot and maybe you could put something back there to make that a little bit more interesting. I don't particularly like this, so I'm going to push once again, push on the corners. Get that out of there. Slide it forward. <laughs> put this one back in there. There we are. The last thing I need to talk about is Fibrier right here. He is in his cassette mode looking like this. First thing we need to do is bring this down and bring this down. Now, when you first open it, you won't have these weapons stored in there. But if you do, pay attention to how I have him oriented. This is his chest. I have this fin right here on that gun sticking up. That's how it's stored in there on both sides. But we need to kind of, I'm going to, you know what, bring the feet out first. And then it's kind of difficult to get this little heel out. 
get the heel out, but still bring the feet forward. Bring the foot forward, get the little heel out. Okay, now we can bend, bend it this way. And now you can elongate it. Rotate, bend it this way. Now you can elongate it. And we can get these weapons out of his leg now. Easier. Give him a stretch because his body shouldn't look like that. He needs his crotch and hips. Bring this down. Bring this down. Bring this down and that down on that side. On the inside of the arm, we have the hand. Inside of this arm, we have the hand. We can go ahead and push on this. So we can get the head going, Re rotate that around. Place him down, but if you want to have his full on look, we need to pull this out to there. And grab there and bring this up. Don't mind my fingers for anybody worried about it. This thing, that other guy, acoustic wave was scratching my hands up. So now I look ashy. <laughs> bring that up. And we can go ahead and plug this onto his back. Plug this onto his back. The plugs are not that deep as I mentioned in my full review. Come on you. And they aren't shaped like plugs. Why? Because if you don't aren't even going to there, they can fit inside of his little handle, one of them, so he can hold it as a gun. But now, here he is. He is a robot. But maybe you don't want this face on back here and it's easy to do without this because that's just going to get out of the way. Basically it's on a mushroom peg. You can just grab it and slide it back off. He has two optional faces. You got that face. Slide that off. Slide this one on. And now he has his angry face right there. Reverse transformation. We're going to take this, shut that, bring that back in. Shut this, bring this back in. All right, put them down. Now, uh, we can. I'm gonna leave his angry face on. We can shut the f hands up in here. Shut the hands up in here. Rotate the head and push it down into the body. Bend this up here. Like that. And up here, like that. At this point, you know what? I did not bring them with me. But if you have the arms like this, and I show this in a full review, so I don't know why I'm, why I'm talking about it. You can put his pile drivers on like that. But I do show that in a full review. But do this. Alright. Now I'm gonna take his feet, shove the heel into its place, and push the foot back like that. Till it's sitting like this. And right here, you can see inside of his knee cavity, there are two little pe peg holes. The gun's actually store in there, where they clip to there to stay secure. But for right now, we're gonna turn the legs this way so that these are holes on the outside. Shove his body down. Go ahead and collapse that into there like this. Go ahead and bend this, but collapse the knee up in there like that. And from this side, where this is the front, we need to grab the weapon that's where the fin is 
or the wing is angled like that, we can take this, put that into here, and you saw the little peg hole, so we can shove that down into it. Same deal. Put that in there. And shove it down in there. Now we can lift this up. And lift this up. Alright. Get that as tight as you can. Sometimes you might have to move this around to make sure that's lined up. So it'll stay because it doesn't really peg in well to me. Now we can take sound wave, shove them in the chest, shut that, and you're good to go. Um, I believe I showed everything, so here we are. I hope this video helped you. If it did, click the like button. If you think it will help anybody else, share it wherever you like to share things. I thank you in advance. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here face right there what the world come on figure action that one's me join the syndicate toy hunters facebook group link in the description click click the videos click the fucking videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click those in videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should.